do you remember when Technoblade said? No, it's not. Remember Cactus Farms? Remember how they were great for like five days and then the admins obliterated them in an update? Yeah. You really think your dreams are going to go that long without getting crushed by the admins? No. Well, that was almost a year ago. Since then, more and more people have decided to build this type of farms. Now, why is that? Well, Cactus Farms are becoming more and more like massive factories that the more you upgrade, the more you earn from them. In basically a never-ending cycle, one of the only obstacles you will come across is your island size or the time that you have to spend on building it. Now, the reason why they take so long to build is because most such as printers that are quite usable in like other servers to build cactus farms are not allowed in Hypixel. So you literally have to place each block on the cactus farm by your own hands. This takes an extreme amount of time and yeah, you basically need a very big farm in order to make profit from it. They are good though, since the profit that you gain from them is mostly automatic and it could become even bigger than the profit that you gain from having max minions. Now if you don't know how much money you can make from that, it's basically like 5 million from having max minions and having a max size farm could make you up to 20 or 25 million a day. Well, as you may have guessed by now, I was one of those people who decided to take on this project. But when I started, I had a goal in mind. I didn't want to be just another random building another farm. No, I want to become the player with the biggest solo cactus farm on Hypixel. So I started my journey in mid-August where I documented my progress by live streaming daily. I was very dedicated at the start and was averaging around 8 to 12 hours of gameplay a day, where half of the time was spent on streaming and the other half was spent off stream. This type of grind continued for the better part of the month, but this was enough time for me to claim the title for having the biggest solo cactus farm that was previously actually claimed by another YouTuber called Sweet Beauty. To put it a little bit more into perspective, my account was brand new. So even though I was averaging such big time in game, I didn't mean that all the time was when it was going into the cactus farm. Things such as coins, bizarre flipping, materials, collections, etc. were all necessary things for me to make this farm the best. And I had to spend probably half of the time on this type of things and the other half went on to building the cactus farm. During this time though, I was gaining a little bit of a popularity on the community. Since I was uploading every day, people came to visit my island and I like chatted around, asked questions, and even said some motivating words to me to continue on building. And another reason why they visited is because I was going on and on in different hubs spending this certain message. I would do this until my island became full of visitors, which were a maximum of 6 people. Some decided to stay around, have a chat, and some just like visited and left without saying a word. But this was a good way to get my name out there and see what people thought about the farm. I mostly did this to pass the time since it got boring at times only building cactus. So having people around and seeing their reactions on the farm in a way motivated me to continue building. Their reactions were mostly good and there were even people who wanted to donate to the cause because they wanted to support what I was doing. Donation could start from 50,000 coins up to 10 million coins. I wanted everyone to get their own place, even for the lower donations, so I put signs all over around my farm for each donation I got. On the signs I would write the player IGN as well as the amount of they have donated. Now before we get more into the story, I want to say that the farm now is almost 3 months old and it's increased almost double in size since it became the biggest solo cactus farm. It's solo still if you got confused. Since we are on this topic, I want to show you some real statistics on the farm and how much it's making now and how long it took to build. So for starters, to build a farm I had to spend a combined amount of over 600,000 materials. This includes only the sand, string and the cactus placed within the farm. To do this I spent over 250 hours building the farm itself and the things around it such as the collection system, the roof, the floor as well as the water system etc. The farm did make good profit though, since the prices of cactus did increase now and then giving me around 25 million coins per day when prices were high and as low as 5 million coins where prices were lower. The collection system that I was using for the farm could store up to 2 million items and it gets max capacity basically every day. The farm at this point is almost at 50% of its potential size and it's continuing to expand daily. Another thing that I want to mention is that even though I had the biggest solo farm, it doesn't mean that I didn't have co-ops. I did. In fact, I had two of them at this point of time called Steve OP and Pinthrower, actually thinking about adding a third one in the near future. 
These co-ops that joined my Asan were given strict rules not to touch a single block in the cactus farm. They were here only to help me with the maintenance of the farm, like filling up the furnaces with the coal or helping me empty the collection system. Now, the other part of the story starts on the second month where I actually decided to drop the project and take a break. Don't get me wrong, I still have the biggest solo cactus farm, but I was exhausted. Price of cactus had dropped very much since I started and there was simply nothing motivating me to continue. Another YouTuber called Trimax during this time had grouped a team of co-ops around 5 to 8 members to help him build his own cactus farm. And by the time I had stopped the project they continued building as a team and made a larger cactus farm on the server as well as got number one on the leaderboard for cactus collection. Since I know how hard it should have been for them I respect them for that but this was not my war. My goal wasn't to compete against a full-size co-op as a solo, but since I've heard many people compare myself to them, I felt like I had to address this as well. After I came back from the break, I noticed something had drastically changed on the price of Cactus. Not for the worst, but for the better. They had basically become 5 times better and the reason behind that were CD projects. This was actually a new feature added to the game which allowed you to donate different items to the community in order to finish a certain project. Now these items will increase in demand on the server itself and as well as in price. I managed to abuse it for a few days but after the project was done the price went back lower to what they used to be. Well since the price are this way now what I'm thinking of is getting 29 tier 11 cactus minions. The reason behind that is because I don't want to only be grinding cactus for the money, I want to grind for collection as well. And having minions could like constantly give me some collection over time, even though I'm not collecting it by FKing on the cactus. Now, after doing some calculations, I came up with the number 500,000. Now you may be thinking, what is that? Well, if I had 29 tier 11 cactus minions all in my island with 35% plasma buckets in each one of them, I will be getting exactly 500,000 cactus per day. That would get me high on the leaderboards, but that wasn't my main goal just yet. I still had a lot of work to do on the farm, and yeah, I basically had to focus most of my energy on that. For now, I'm only gonna keep coal minions all max on my island in order to keep the farm running with fuel, which basically is just coal blocks. Now, this is just a start for me. And I only wanted to make this video to give people a little bit more of an understanding about what I'm doing and about my future plans. There will be more videos about this topic to come and my main goal is to create a solo cactus farm as big as the full island size, which is around 10 by 10 chunks or 100 by 60, 100 by 60 blocks. Until then, I am too old to join my live streams on YouTube. I don't do them very often, but I suggest you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them.